the last time I did a top 10 quarterback list, Warren Moon was still in the top three. Yeah, that was three weeks ago now. And we've had multiple team of the week, AKA cards. We've had unstoppable legend cards. All these cards come out for quarterback position. And now I am finally updating it for you guys here today. I will say, I feel like this is kind of like a top five heavy list, but all these cards are very, very usable in the game. But if you enjoy top tens, you enjoy gameplays, you found the right channel for you guys. We are on that road to 40,000 subs. I also stream on Twitch every single day. I'll be streaming right after I post the video with the brand new legends. So make sure you guys stop over there. But other than that, let's get right into number 10. If you are looking for cheap, fast Madden coins to build that God Squad you always wanted, head over to my sponsor, EZMA, and use code CHU for 5% off your order. The link is in the description. At number 10, we are starting with Warren Moon. And like I said, the last time we did this video, he was actually number three on the list. So he's dropping all the way down to number 10. He beat out guys like Kirk Cousins for me. Obviously, RG3 is still very solid in the game. Aaron Rodgers, guys like that is who he kind of topped out at number 10, right? He obviously is a little bit lackluster now, but he was the first quarterback in the game that had all 85 plus thresholds in all of his accuracies so he never missed those throws like we saw earlier in the game he also does have gunslinger but as you guys know with warren rune's release he does have that really bad hitch in his short right and that medium right i know there's this thing going around i and obviously it's not true that gunslinger makes every release the same we all know that maybe over the middle and through like the short middle but on the right there are hitches in all these releases warren moon has a very very bad uh hitch in his short right and also his medium right i noticed it a lot a lot of people hated using this card you even saw people in the mcs not use him when he was the best quarterback in the game ability wise by far because of the hitch but i still think when you compare to other guys i still think having gunslinger at least in those other releases are is definitely a little bit more valuable than having like you know like a protected or like the Howard master x factor on a guy like kirk cousins so at number nine we do got terry bradshaw in this card i actually got to use for a little bit if you go back and watch a couple of our gameplays like the wide receiver ones and whatnot terry bradshaw was the quarterback for a little while i, I would say it was like at least a week and a half or two weeks at least he is actually very solid so no he does not get gunslinger but as you guys know there is like two releases in the game right now i would say are like top tier it's that lamar jackson release that currently andrew luck has and there's also this release it's i forget what it what it's exact i think it's traditional too i keep mixing up the names this year because they changed them once again but it's the same release that joe burrow has and it's called like the best release in the game or at least a lot of people feel that way and blonde bomber without gunslinger actually feels very nice out there he has really good accuracy stats across the board obviously the throw under pressure was one of the biggest things with him 91 throw under pressure on a base card it almost felt like he had fearless built in and now that the loop is completely gone as well you have all the time in the world with blonde bomber to throw back there he's definitely still solid i think his x factor is pro reads i don't think it's a big deal you probably shouldn't be using that but still a solid card like i said this is a really top heavy list i don't really see too many blonde bombers out there moving over to number eight we have our first generic two release as you guys know t law and a bunch of people on this list generic two is like kind of like generic three last year it's the most popular release in the game it's kind of middle of the pack i guess you will say it is very solid all the way through but just like i said with warren moon he kind of does have that hitch when it comes to the short right but the one thing with this release i think you kind of lose that medium right hitch so you only have really one hitch in your throw but other than that trevor lawrence still comes with a pretty solid card i will say for an 89 overall the stats aren't the best but most of you guys know with quarterbacks, the only thing we're really looking for, obviously, is probably like speed, throw under pot or throw power, and probably like ability wise and release. That's the only thing you're really looking for in T Law. He obviously has mediocre stats across the board but having a mid release and all the other guys have the same releases i'm gonna rank him the lowest out of all the gen 2 guys on this list he still gets gunslinger to help him out a little bit but yeah kind of an eh car moving over to number seven this is what i like to call the left-handed better statted trevor lawrence they both have the same exact release but you can see this is also an 89 overall card look at the stats across the board you have all high 88s and all of the accuracies or you have all 88s and all the accuracies the throw under pressure is a 91 the throw on the run is a 92 as well the speed is amazing they gave him the same throw power too the only thing that's a negative is is that yes he is a lefty i personally don't care if it's lefty i know a lot of people in the community out there do not like lefties i still think i would sacrifice it a little bit for plus three speed and better stats across the board like i said stats don't matter too much but if they have the same release might as well get the guy with better stats right unless you're the biggest t-law guy out there in the world they both get the same abilities same release you know i just gotta lean to it here moving over to number six we do have a card that i would say was before his time as you guys know these legends are definitely playing higher than their overall this 88 overall has the same exact buckets as like a 90 like that is not a legend it is crazy because the legend gets extra buckets right now for example the 90s right now in the game the most feared get three buckets and the legend 90s in this game get four buckets it was the same exact thing when we were this low overall so michael vick was kind of before his time he does get gunslinger in the game he also has 89 speed 93 
throw power. 85 plus in all his accuracies. I know it's not the highest, but like I said, as long as he's hitting that threshold right there and, mid, er, and hitting all his throws, it's nice. He also has 90 throw under pressure. I will say his release is kind of a weird thing in this game. Slinger 1, as you guys know, is probably one of the most legendary releases in madden history but they did kind of tune it this year it is kind of middle of the pack this year yes it is just middle of the pack so a guy like michael vick who would have been the best card still probably right now in the game last year is kind of just you know middle of the pack right now the only thing really carrying him is that he does get that gunslinger and very good speed throw power and throw under pressure now heading into the top five we do got our guy brock purdy i did just do a gameplay on this card so i'm very fresh with him in my mind and brock purdy is actually very solid so he has the same release as tua and arsenal our guy uh t law like i said that's kind of the release they throw on almost everybody unless they have a signature release in the game and it's very solid like i said it is a solid solid release kind of like higher towards the middle of the pack i would say it's like probably like three or four right now in the game but brock purdy coming with 84 speed 89 throw power the accuracies you're hitting a 90 right there too i, I he's very very balanced across the board the 88 throw under pressure 87 throw on the run the play action is really good as well i think he's just more balanced across I, honestly when you even look at Tua, two it does come with a little bit better stats too because he has that like 91 throw under pressure and 90 throw under pressure which is nice to see but brock purdy like i said i don't know I, also i couldn't go he's not in the catalog so i can't even show you the ability for some reason he's the only card out of all the quarterbacks that's not in the catalog but he still does get gunslinger like the other guys I think he's a top five quarterback in the game, but if you want to save coins, he's basically the same card as Tua and also T-Law. And at number four, we have the Justin Fields, and I don't know how to truly rank this because I don't, I'm, I'm just going to say this right now. So he is the only card in the game that gets fearless, but I mentioned it in the video yesterday. We did the gameplay on him yesterday if you want to check it out. I don't think Fearless is worth it. It is four AP, and also they killed every blitz in this game. They killed the loop. They killed Dollar almost. Uh, like most of the blitzes take forever to come in right now. I don't think you should be using four AP on Fearless, even if you're using literally nothing else. I just don't even think it's worth it. But other than that, I still think he's a good card. So he, yes, just like the other guys, has the same exact release that generic to. But you can see he is the fastest quarterback in the game. They gave him insane throw power at 90. The accuracies are good too. 92 short, 86 medium, and 88 deep. The throw under pressure is a little bit lackluster right there. I guess if you're worrying too much and you don't need apprentices, you could use that fearless. But I will say with the games I didn't use fearless, I didn't notice that too much. Because like I said, no one's really blitzing. Unless somebody's like getting an instant shed and it's an unlucky play, you won't really notice that stat too much. But yes, fearless. And he also can stack gunslinger and also gift draft at the same time. You would be using all seven of your eight. AP, I just don't think that that fearless is worth it if fearless was like cheaper I would probably rank him a little bit higher on this list But right now that ability is just almost untouchable at 4 AP moving over to number three We have Josh Allen and Josh Allen as you guys know this card became out with these weird X factors I guess you can call them the unstoppable X factors. I will say I thought the thought process of them were really cool I've tried them all out I think it depends on who you're playing because if you go to mutt champs You guys know there is no elo in mutt champs So you get matched up with random people that aren't even in your bracket or your division And then yes, you can activate the X factors there But if you're playing head-to-head -head and you're playing people that are actually like on your skill level You're not really activating those X factors if you're playing anybody that is like, oh, I, I like to say, like, decent or at least your skill level, like I always say. But 87 speed. This card still is really good across the board, by the way. He's still really good. I think... I forget what release he has exactly because I think he has his own special one. But yes, just like Warren Moon, he does have a bad hitch in his short right. The, like I said, Gunslinger does not just equal out on all these cards like some people have said on the internet. It does not do that. It the, well, Over the middle, I would say Gunslinger is definitely solid. But the short right, Gunslinger cannot save George, Josh Allen's short right release. But other than that, I still love the X-Factor thing if you're playing Mutt Champs and whatnot. But you're not going to be throwing 10 consecutive five-yard passes or whatever it is. Is it like eight? I think it's like seven or six L. Uh, consecutive five yard plat passes which it sounds easy but like i said if you're playing a good player it is pretty difficult to do and that's for that reason i think people are leaning towards the guy that already has Howard master built into his card as you guys know at number two andrew luck aka the captain they gave him the lamar release a lot of the pros so if you guys are wondering how this release kind of came out of it uh, there was a thing on twitter that i don't know if a lot of you guys over here on youtube saw there were a lot of the mcs the madden pros that were telling uh, ea that there's a release that they have not been upgrading yet and it was the lamar release and they finally dropped it on a card and yes you we, we we definitely have been missing it is definitely the best release i have used yet in this game andrew luck has been phenomenal so far the throw power is obviously amazing you're getting the better release he doesn't get anything crazy like fearless or Howard master but gunslinger if you don't need any of those and maybe you're only using one apprentice and you're looking for the best release this is definitely the best card for you man this card is phenomenal out there i kind of do miss him but yeah Howard master is too good boys i think you guys know who's coming at number one 
Yes, as you guys know, Hot Row Master is very, very OP right now in the game. Joe Montana, this card I have not been seen. Like, he has been used on almost every tournament, every MCS team I have seen yet on Twitch. Every single pro is using him right now. He is amazing. And look at the stats across the board. 90 throw power. The stats are amazing. But you're really here, obviously, for that last ability. Like I said, these 90s get four ability buckets. He is the only card in the game with built-in Haro Master. And yes, it is three AP. You can run Haro Master and Gunslinger for a total. And also, you do need Gift Trapped in this game for six AP. And you still have one AP to leave. That's literally everything you need right now in the game. None of those catching abilities are worth it because Gift Trapped is absolutely broken. Anyways, Joe Montana is electric. Obviously, he doesn't have the best release in the game. He's not that fast in the game. They had to nerf him a little bit. But getting every single apprentice everywhere on the field for 3 AP is absolutely ridiculous. It is broken. And also, in a game where you don't really need too much speed. And also, the release doesn't matter as, as much anymore because you guys know they took all the blitzes out the game. Joe Montana is just invincible right now. All right, boys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to comment down below which card are you using right now out of the top 10 quarterbacks. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Which guy is too high? Which guy is too low? Like I said, I love reading the comments on these top 10s. And we do have the best card in every position video coming out tomorrow. And I hope to see you guys there. Peace out, boys.